Hi, I wanted to give you a tip today about converting with DaVinci DJI D-Log M footage. Now there's several ways to convert it and I do have another video which I will link below on how to convert it. But let me give you the settings that I'm using that gives me the best starting point. There is a huge difference between DJI D-Log M and D-Log. So here's what we're gonna do. The way that I convert my footage, I come over here into uh, the media pool input color space and then you have to pick the right conversion. There is no conversion for D-Log M. Let me go ahead and use the D-Log and I'll show you why that's bad. So I click that and look at it. It's converted it, but it looks terrible because this is not D-Log footage, this is D-Log M. Okay, so let me go ahead and just undo that. I'm gonna come back over here, input color space. By the way, if you're using CSTs, it's basically the same thing. Okay, so I have tested all of these different conversions and I found the best one. Here we go. I'm gonna come over here, input color space. We're gonna come down this list. There's probably a hundred or so in here and I'm gonna to go to red. The very first one in the red list, which is dragon color, red gamma three. That of all of the conversions will get you the best starting point. So I'm gonna click that. You can see it converts it. It's not perfect. It still needs some color grading. But that is the conversion. That's the purpose of this video. If you're looking for the best way to convert, whether you're using uh, this technique or CSTs, uh, Red gr Dragon Color 3 is the way to go. Let me go to the color page here real quick. And let me just make a couple of quick changes. I'm going to bring my white point up a little bit. I'm going to bring my black point down a little bit. Uh, I'm going to bring my shadows down, or excuse me, my highlights down a little, shadows up a little bit, add a little bit more saturation. I'm going to warm it up just a tiny bit. And I think we need some contrast, something like that. Okay, so it's just, obviously this is your personal preference, but let me just show you. Uh, this is where I was before my little color correction, and this is after my color correction. Still looks a little dark to me. I'm going to jump back over. I'm just going to bring up the shadows. There we go. So that's how easy it is to get good D-Log M footage. First, you need to convert it with either input color space or CSTs. Once again, there's another video about how I'm doing it, which is the easiest way by far. And uh, then you give it a little color grade and that's the situation. So use the red, or the dragon color red gamma three is the best one that you can find because there is no technical conversion for D-Log M footage. Thanks for listening. Please check out the other uh, video to look for uh, an easier way to convert.